On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty! Your no Majesty, oh how long I have waited this moment! It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold or rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy knife, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Mm, it is hard to say. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, there'll be trouble for the lot of- Are you the one, then? Ah, it must be you. Aha, uh -huh. I thought I recognized you.
I like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brave. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here. And you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards! Do your injuries pain you? 
Pray. Do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap, or oh, 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 that post safe. Oh, stomach's complaining. A job well done. Now the next step is to. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. your phone till they are over. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to dodge and clean attacks. Barrels and the like can make effective weapons with a clever combatant. Worry not. You 
need only believe in your own destiny, Marissa. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next, and now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Burma being sent there. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir! You'll be needing it! Find your strength flat and buy the cure to your habit of green damage. When one of the fiends comes, let's guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least... There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. It 
is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross o'er into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the Dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the Dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask aught you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Riftstones are gates. By their power have we crossed into this world. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the Riftstones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. 
We merely do as we are commanded. Very well. May fortune... As soon as my shift's done, I'm off to the tavern. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. You found strength courses through you. It is good to see. They do say good things come to those who wait. I enjoy tackling fierce foes, and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident, and may act independently. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. It is a pleasure to meet you. A ladder, is it? How convenient. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Plane at Arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ere long.
Hey, oh. You a soldier? Could be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? Tisn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. We have been called upon to render aid. Let us make haste. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the world. Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next.
Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but... Something to note. None of our number are trained in the healing arts. Mayhap you could dismiss a pawn, uh, not me, naturally, and hire a mage in their place. All of them. Yeah, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. I suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Twas a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. Tis a goodly deed we've done. Now, Sir Ricardo can return to his duty in good health. My heart is light as a feather after that exchange.
First assess the field, then act accordingly. 